Hi, welcome. Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be doing a teardown on an Asus laptop. When I do a disassemble, I'll explain to you what are the things that you can do to upgrade your laptop, meaning that you can upgrade your hard drive, the SSD, maybe the RAM, maybe replacing the battery. I will also remove the motherboard. So in this video, I'll explain to you the step-by-step -step on how to do that and show it to you. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing I like to do is identify the laptop. The model here is E510M. This is the ASUS basic, kind of basic laptop here. So I'm using a Phillips screwdriver. The number of the, uh, the screwdriver here is PH1. This is the Phillips one. Go ahead and remove the screws. It looks like the screws are all the same sizes except the one at the bottom. The bottom four might be a lot shorter compared to the rest of other screws. So make sure you actually not. So all the screws are the same except the bottom left and right. So the bottom left here and the right screw is a lot shorter but the rest of other screws are the same. Once you have removed all the screws, the next step is to go ahead and separate the back cover away from the laptop. I'm using a metal prying tool. You can use a plastic one as long as you can get in between that cover and the, and the laptop and separate them just like that. All right, once you have that separation, I usually like to use the plastic so that I do not make a scratch or dent to the laptop. So once you have removed the back cover, just put it on the side. Here you can see the entire computer. It's pretty basic. You can see that the USB I.O. board is on the left. The battery here in the center. This is your hard drive. And that's pretty much the motherboard. Okay, and the two speakers here on the side. So to remove the battery, all you have to do is just uh, push this metal bracket down so there's a clipper this clipper just to clip onto the uh, connector all you have to do is to push that metal clipper down again I'll redo it again for you so this is lock okay it's kind of hard to see bring it closer to the camera so this position is locked all you have to do is to push that metal clipper down that way you can pry open the uh, connector straight up okay the connector goes straight up once that clipper is open all right next step is to remove the battery Phillips screws very straightforward four screws holding it down once you have removed the entire battery will just come right off and I'll tell you what the model you need to look for is C31 N1912 that is the model of the battery and if you need a replacement look up for the model and if you're not sure where to buy the battery from I'll link it down description below where you can directly go to Amazon or eBay for the uh, the battery replacement the next step is to remove the solid state drive this computer here is equipped with NVMe 256 gigabyte solid state drive. You might find it a little bit difficult to remove because the thermal pad, this is what the pad is, is sticky and kind of tape it down at the bottom of the keyboard. So when you slide it, you have to lift it at certain angle and gently slide it away from it. You might need that thermal pad to separate before you can remove it entirely. Okay, you can upgrade to a bigger hard drive, but you also need to install the windows. Okay, now let's go ahead and remove the keyboard. First, you need to disconnect the flex cable connector and then slide the keyboard down. 
this is for your trackpad flip open the black connector there's a clipper right there open up the clipper and slide that cable down this is your speaker I'm using my fingernail tuck underneath the white connector and push it and slide it down towards my body open up the black clipper right there flip it open the clipper once it's open slide that cable to your left to separate it and this is the Wi-Fi just make sure the connector is lift up disconnect from the Wi-Fi remove that screw and slide the Wi-Fi adapter away remove the screws that is holding down the motherboard which is holding down the bracket here so we're removing two of them the same time we need to remove the screws and open up the hinge to remove the motherboard okay so two screws the third and the fourth is at the bottom once you have removed all the four screws now the hinge can go up and here comes the LCD screen connector this is the 30 pin connector I believe all right the tip is taping it down all you have to do is to slide it away from your body so slide it to that direction and the entire motherboard will just come right off Unfortunately, there's no heat sink on the CPU that might have been generating a lot of heat. I was actually looking for the RAM. It looks like the RAM is built in. I can see that the RAM slot is in there. I mean, sorry, the, the RAM chip is in there. The black chip right there, there's a RAM chip. The chipset is in there. It is not upgradable, meaning that the RAM is not upgradable at all. Alright, since we have that removed, we might as well remove these three screws and expose the CPU. Once the screws, the screws are removed, the bracket will just come right off. And you can see that tiny little thermal paste is there. So that thermal paste is somewhat, you know, on the CPU. That is the only heat that is drawn out. And the chipset is right there. That's your RAM. It's probably a 8 gigs, 2468. And that's the motherboard. Okay, now unfortunately the keyboard is not replaceable. As you can see that the keyboard is punched down. All these little black dots. It's not a screw, it's a punch down by the manufacturer. Therefore the keyboard is not replaceable. So in, in order to replace the keyboard, you would have to remove the entire keyboard like so. So four screws, remove the left hinge, open up the hinge, make sure the Wi-Fi is free and slide that keyboard down and this is your entire keyboard okay so to replace any keys on the keyboard trackpad you would have to replace the entire palm rest this is what we call the entire palm rest with the keyboard and trackpad all right and then the screen is on this part here so hopefully this teardown kind of point you to the direction whether it's a good investment for the laptop or not and obviously to me i think the laptop the cost to buying is probably cheaper however the build of the laptop you can see is very minimal very very minimal to a point that um, it is not worth repairing so for example if you pay attention to replace the keyboard which i just take it apart it may have cost you somewhere from fifty dollars to a hundred dollars just to remove to do the labor work plus if you buy a replacement keyboard more likely it's going to be a used keyboard from an ebay um, from a local seller that this keyboard might cost you i don't know 75 dollars or maybe 100 dollars if you add 100 for the labor 100 for the keyboard you're talking about 200 dollars 
in total to have the keyboard re repair or replace. At this given time, you might as well just invest the $200 on a different laptop. That's my opinion. So this laptop though is very minimal. Um, might not be worth upgrading or replacing. If it breaks, just get a new one. That's my opinion. Thanks for watching. If you have any question, comments down below. Uh, please smash the like button. I know you enjoyed the video and hopefully this explain and help you in any other ways. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye now.